All right, here with Barb Elliott, we've got the fizzing expert. She, she is so good. She's designed the needle perfect. She's humble, that's why she's laughing, but I have learned how to fizz smallmouth bass, and she's gonna teach you how to do one right now. Here we go. All right, this is a needle with a reamer. This is the important part. This is what you need to have. All right. There's a certain spot needed. This is a fish that needs fizzing. And you can see the indications because the fish floats at the surface and he cannot right himself. The landmarks on a smallmouth bass, one, two, three, fourth, spiny, gray, down line to the anal pore, and then an intersecting line off the pectoral fin, which is right about there. It's often the high spot on their side, correct? When, yep, it's, it looks like that's where the bubble is. You take the bevel part of the needle up, it's very important, you slither in under a scale, just pierce the skin at a 45 degree angle, put the needle straight, plunge it in, and then you pop that little reamer down to the end and take it out. And there's the bubbles. You watch the bubbles and you feel the fish not floating until he's not floating but he's not sinking you want him neutrally buoyant so she's going to do here in just a second this one's a little lively because he's getting relief and he is just about done i think he will swim away and now there he goes he's he's trying this guy is really stressed but you see how he's not really sinking fast yep. this fish was all these another fish, hour he'd be dead all these fish At in least. this tank there's there's probably 15 of them in there we fizzed them all here in the last few minutes, uh, and they were all bobbers, and now they're all all down. So that's Here's how you fizz one. fish with Miss Barb. She's, <laughs> she's the best.